Blue Mage Fina is the main character of Season 3, and thus was given for free by going through the story. Later, materials for her Neo Vision Awakening were announced in the news. Hey, um, this will be available for people in the future too, right? Blue Mage Fina now has Trustmaster Rewards. Her Trustmaster Reward is a material that boosts attack, defense, magic, and spirit by 30%, while boosting limit burst damage by a strong 50%. This is a simple materia. While you'd often equip this for the limit burst damage boost rather than the average stats, you're bound to benefit regardless. In fact, it has quite a bit of general application, and since you get a trust moogle for this materia, you may as well chuck it into a spare prism moogle just to get two copies of this instead. Her super trust master reward is a blue mage dress. It's close with a decent spread of stats, though what's really impressive about it is its 50% boosted light resistance, and its passive double killer against fairies. On to her active abilities. I'm pretty sure half of you haven't even looked at Fina's kit, and to be honest, neither have I, so let's go over it. First, her magic spells. Libra, Dispelga, and Kuraga are the basic white magic essentials, and then she also has blue magic by going through the story mode of the game. You've got White Wind, which heals and grants the HP regen, Light of Repentance, which deals magic light damage that scales off her spirit, and Chains of Absolute Mirror of Equity, Magic Mind Blast, which lowers magic and spirit by 80%, Mobilize, which... Well, maybe they're not all winners. Mighty Guard, which... Silver Hammer. Kuraja! That's... That's Kuraga, but better. And then Full Life and Re-Race, which have been buffed since their first appearance. Now, Abilities. Reverse Hearts fully revives their team. Prime Heal heals your team and cures most status ailments. MP Absorber is the MP Absorb. Calming Strike... Dual Cast. Bursting Sheer fills your team's limit burst gauges by a small amount, and boosts their limit burst gauge fill rate by 150%. Monotopia, well, maybe. Increased Magic, Black Elemental Veil, White Elemental Veil. Well, additional 60% elemental resistance is better than nothing, I suppose. So Burst, okay, let's just move on. Total Peace fully restores your team's HP and MP, then boosts their Wind, Light, and Dark Elemental resistance by 100%. Luminous Heal heals your team, and does it again on the next turn. Rectification is a dispel, and then there's a small MP recovery for your team attached. Crowning Veil imbues light onto your team, boosts their light damage by 25%, and grants them a strong double killer against fairies. She also gets a triple cast, which really helps her out. Passives. With her new Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, she gains stats that are really meant for her brave shift. She deals much more damage to fairy enemies, though it's not as if she's going to accomplish that in this form. She also has a small booster limit burst gauge fill rate. At the start of the battle, she'll automatically boost your team's stats by 150%. Her normal attack has been changed to a physical attack that deals magic damage which scales off her spirit and chains of Boating Shrike, then boosts your team's light resistance by 60%. She also gains this one passive that can boost her equipment spirit so long as she's holding a single weapon, but even if she does have the leeway to hold a shield, she naturally can't. Let's look at her limit burst. It restores a fixed amount of HP, MP, and boosts your team's stats by 300%. Time to change forms. Blue Mage Fina's Brave Shift has a 4 turn duration and a 4 turn cooldown. Onto her active abilities. Lotus Light Assault is a physical attack that scales off her attack stat and chains of Absolute Mirror of Equity. It also lowers the enemy's light resistance by 125%. However, the attack itself is non-elemental, so you will need light in beforehand. Pure Supplication can be used twice per battle. It boosts Fina's attack and spirit by 300%, boosts her limit burst damage by 250%, and gives her a tremendous HP and MP regen. And she has no magic spells, meaning only two abilities. Onto her passives. We've seen her Trustmaster reward ability, which is a much better fit here. She gains a tremendous boost to her limit burst damage, and her normal attack's been changed to inflict a 100% light impero instead. In this form, she prefers to carry two weapons, with the chain boost when doing so. However, her Trustmaster reward passive also incentivizes you to give her one weapon instead, so really the better bow depends on the equipment you have available. Let's look at her limit burst. It deals damage that happens in Chain of Extreme Nova, which is the same chaining family as Rain, or perhaps more common, Elena. Let's rank Brave abilities. I'd prioritize if she has one. Time to make a damage rotation. I'll assume you've breezed through Season 3. On turn 1, cast Crowning Veil and double cast Light of Repentance. On turn 2, switch forms, cast Pure Supplication, and double cast Lotus Light Assault. You're going to keep triple casting Lotus Light Assault from turns 3 to 5, but if her limit burst is ready, then that takes priority. Then repeat the rotation from there. 
So, EX2? Yeah, the material is for free. Go for it. So how good is Blue Mage Fina? Her Neo Vision form really turns her into a damage dealer, though she was already a pretty good healer in her base form anyways. In terms of support, her kit is largely outdated, and it's a bit of a stretch to really make an argument to use her as her main supporter. Her damage levels are strong for a free unit. Obviously, she's no Light Sephiroth, but she's definitely a decent pick if you wanted a Neo Light damage dealer. Unfortunately, one thing you may want to note is that her Brave Shift forces her into an offensive state, and you can't switch back at will once you've activated it, effectively cutting you off from her healing abilities in her base kit. Yes, Blue Mage Fina is a very simple unit, but she's also free, and still nevertheless effective at what she does. Can't complain overall. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you can Neo Vision Awaken Blue Mage Fina. Obviously, I've already done so, but now I'm gonna have to go grind her Chronicle Battle for her sword. Because guess who decided to put it off?